Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn about the one-to-many relationship using the Mongoose. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So, so here, first of all, we have to understand what do we mean by the one-to-many relationships. Okay. So let's take an example of the people collection and uh, the city collection. So people collection can be linked to the city collection. Blog post to the comments, like uh, uh, like we have a blog post and we have multiple comments. This could be a one-to-many relationship. Another one, thinking of a parent-child relationship. One parent can have the multiple children. Okay. So, but each child has only one parent. So it can be a one-to-many relationship. This is a real-world example of one-to-many relationship. The parent is associated with multiple children while each child is associated with the just one parent. Okay. And here we are referring with the author and the book where we are creating the API and all. Okay. So author and author can write multiple books. True. An author can have the can write multiple books. Book is written by one author. Okay. So this creates one to many relationships between the authors and the books. One author can have the multiple books, but each book is associated with only one author. So this is the database structure. You can see the author table. We have an author ID and we have a name of author one and author two. So let's create a book like one, two, three books. So they have only one author. Each book is written by the only one author. That is the true, right? So let's take an example of that one and implement this into the code level of the node share. So let's see how we are going to do that. So let me open the folder structure. HTML, then we have a node.js tutorial. Let's create a new one. So make directory that is uh, one to many. Okay, CD one to many npm init y okay so let's open this code so create app.js file so i will create app.js app.js so we are here we have the full source code first of all install the mongoose and the express so let's go and add this one mongoose then we have to add express Okay, and we have to restart the server. Sorry, Mo uh, MongoDB. This is done. So let's go and just add the code to the app.js file. So let's copy this one whole block. So here you can see that first we have the express mongoose then we have the connection with the db okay so here we are defining the schema you can separate out with the help of the models okay that's not an issue so here you can see that we have the here we have defining the author schema which have the author name and we have the books okay the type is object id and the reference should be the book okay and here we have the author we have using the mongoose model author okay this is basically the, defining the schema part creating the tables in the database then we have a book schema okay so book we have title and it is linked to the author reference should be the author okay so while we creating the uh, author then we are mentioning the relation that authors can have the multiple books as we have discussed you can see that authors you can see here we have an author can write multiple books, right? So here you can see that if I go and ch check this one that uh, author, author can write multiple books. So there is a book. You can see that array. Okay. And here you can see that the book schema, which can the, a book can we have the author that is 
each book has only one author okay as you can see that the uh, book is written by the only one author so this is the relationship that we have built that is one to many okay after this we have uh, uh, api to check the full fledged data that is coming around or not okay so main thing that we have the linking part that is hey, this one that author this is basically the author author can have the multiple books but book can have the one author this is the relationship okay this is important while ever we trying to fetching the data from the database that should be linked so that we can use anywhere okay if i want to show in the front end or wherever that uh, the author uh, like which author has how many books we have so it should be consist of that array so that we can loop it and th show it anywhere okay so next one that we have the api for fetching the authors list with populate books and here next one is the books is associated with the author so we are fetching that one also okay the last one we have to insert the data so here you can see that, that we have author create author one so first we create the authors okay then we are insert that in the books then we are trying to update and save this is basically the insertion part okay so let's try to insert it and it's running on the which server port that is 3000 i suppose node app dot shares okay so let's open the postman so here api so it will i will add over here api insert sample data okay so it's already data is there so let i just need to hit this one api insert sample data cannot get why it's a post request okay so make it post request okay sent sample data inserted let's check uh, in the console also and let's go and check the database so here we have a connect then we have a library so where is library This is library collection so collections authors so you can see that we have a two authors okay and author can have the multiple books so we can check this one so this is the array that is this is the ids that we have inserted okay then we have the object one here you can see that the one element is there okay so we have referenced it out with the ids okay so authors can have the multiple books and the books okay can have the one author id okay so it's there okay let's try to fetch all the details with the api so the first api that we have is so first we get the books so let's check get the books also so here we go able to get the books okay so here we go the list of books so it's a get request so here you can see that the api books so books is there book one and we have the author so the author parameter is also linked with that one okay so this is the way that we are getting in so write book and there is author related to it okay so next one that we are checking up this one is authors so author can have the multiple books okay so if if i want to show the all the authors with their multiple books i can also check this one so here we have to just add the authors and here you can see that this author has multiple books okay so this is the way that we can if we if we do the linking then the result is this one okay else we are just doing the joining part or aggregation or something to fetch the data and all so it's better that you can use the relationships to achieve the results okay any doubt any query that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day